Hello buddy, welcome back to another video and today I'm going to talk about my first and currently only time ever going to the office. By that I mean the first ever time I did something quote unquote so bad that I got sent to the office at school. And this is probably my second or third story time video, so if you do like these please leave a like. When I say this I'm not trying to be a like digger I guess you could say, likes are just the easiest way to tell if you guys want to see more. <gasps> Alright, so now let's start. So, it all started in the infamous Miss Famine Ports class. You've heard of her before, hopefully. So, y'all have heard of her by now, and I will be putting a link to the story time in the description, if you have not seen her already. So, like I was saying, it all started in Miss Famine Ports class. So, one day, I was bored. I had finished the current package, and the class was at the computers, so I was just talking with my friends, pretty much doing nothing. Now, I don't remember why or how, but the conversation switched to this year's new vice principal, who we'll be calling Dr. Diggity, for the state, for the sake of privacy. <laughs> now, just for some background, my school had three main administrators, Dr. Diggity, the vice principal, a principal in training, who we'll be meeting later, and a principal who is not in this year's story. Now, this was also 8th grade, eighth grade, so the past year, and it was Dr. Diggity's actual first year at our school. So, with background out of the way, let's get on with the story. So, I'm talking with my friends about Dr. Diggity at the computers, and suddenly, I get an amazing idea. I knew how to cure my boredom. I would dick around at paint.net. Now, let's get some info out of the way. I'm a paint.net god. I'm the best user of paint.net in the world. Fight me. I don't even need Photoshop. You can do almost every damn same thing in paint.net. So I know a lot about paint on that point, and I can do a lot in it. So I start dicking around when suddenly I put two and two together. I think of Dr. Diggity and dicking around in paint.net. It was an excellent idea. So I told my friends about it, and they agreed that, yes, it would be funny as hell. So I went on one of my friend's computers to go on Chrome to get pictures. Just a fun fact, you can find pictures of most teachers slash school workers you want on Google Images. Go ahead, try it if you want. Alright, so I copy and paste the pictures into paint.net on my friend's computer. And I do my go-to thing to make pictures funnier. I add a bowl to their faces. I also do this to a lot of different people's pictures. Some random, some not. So no targeting, kind of. I made three pictures. One bulging the mouth, one the nose, and one the forehead. I'll put an example of each on different pictures. Now, I remember that I did this on my friend's computer. This will be important to the story later on. So, I saved each picture to his My Documents folder. Everybody thought it was pretty funny, and damn right it was. <laughs> then I got an idea to further the quote-unquote prank. I suggested that we put them in the Student Shared folder. Now, for those of you in school, you should know about the Student Shared folder. But in case you are not in school and or don't know, the Student Shared folder is a folder on the computer's where anybody can put files and anybody can also access those files to view or edit them, whatever they please. So the friend whose computer I did them on agreed and put them in the student shared folder. Now nothing else happens throughout the next one, two weeks. I don't really remember how many weeks it was, guessing one or two. So we go about our daily schedules, but the news spreads about the pictures and people see them because anyone can view a file inside student share, like I said. And like I predicted, everybody thought they were funny. And the word everybody is accentuated because literally 100% of the people that I heard saw it thought it was funny. 100%. Which, side note here, boosts my cripplingly high ego. So like I was saying, two to three weeks passed where it is the day of the second quarter award ceremony, where they announced things like uh, stray days and honor roll. The award ceremony went as planned, but afterwards the principal in training, who we'll refer to as Miss Anime, goes up to my friend the one I made the pictures on his computer, and tells him to meet her after the ceremony in the office. Of course, he told everyone about it. He did not want to go to her, he did not go to her office afterwards, so I don't know why. I uh, forgot to ask him. So at that point, nobody knew what it was about. So the award ceremonies take place during first period. And then we have second, third, lunch. Now, nothing happens until lunch. At lunch, my friend goes and talks to Miss Anime to see what she wanted. Or, not really Miss Anime. Miss Anime finds him and talks to him. To, and, but he was welcome to do it. And she says something about a computer incident. Now, at this point, we were both pretty convinced it was about the picture of Dr. Diggity. Now, this will most likely be from my friend's point of view. Because I was sick that week with the flu. So, the next day, after school... 
the security guards actually asked him if he was the one that made the picture, so 100% knew there. And he told them no, and the security said they would talk later. So the next day when my friend was outside the building, Miss Anime called him and said to go to the office after he went to his locker. So he goes to the office, and the security guards ask about what happened. My friend tells security he didn't make the pictures, but did share them. And then he just went back to class. So at this point, he had not mentioned my name yet, and they did not know I was involved. Now, nothing happens the rest of the day. Then a day or two later, he was called up yet again, but Miss Anime was there in the office, not security. And she was waiting for Dr. Diggity to get there, and she actually printed out the pictures that I made. Then security and Dr. Diggity show up, and my friend here's snickering, and not even joking, he deadass sees security go outside, and they're laughing about the pictures. For a good 30 seconds, too, they're just out there cackling about the pictures. And Miss Anime is sitting here trying to ignore it, which he could clearly hear it while talking to my friend. So she then asks what class they were made in, and my friend says, tech class, with Miss Famine Poor, and she says, I suspected, don't know why she said that conspiracy security so security finally calms down and comes back into the room dr diggity then deadass asks why don't you like me or i should say in his voice why don't you like me i, I can't do a good impression of him uh he came in with security just uh forgot to put that in so then my friend stares at him and says i love you man <laughs> so miss anime asks for an apology note to be due the next day explaining who did it so then when my friend gets home he messages me about what happened of course my, uh, remember i was sick with the flu the, that entire week and this was on thursday so on friday my friend turns in the note saying that i'd done the deed so dr diggity reads the note which clearly explains that my friend only shared the pictures which he did but did not create them so he looks at my friend and there's an awkward stare my friend looks away and dr diggity is still staring like he about to hug him or something uh, so then Miss Anime actually asked who did it. She had not seen the note. My friend said it was me. She asked if we were friends. And he said, yeah, because we are friends. Then she delved into some weird counseling questions, like if this would affect our friendship and stuff. Side note, we're still friends, so it didn't really affect anything. It was three funny-ass pictures. So then after the three-day weekend, I returned to school on Tuesday. At this point, everybody knows that I was about to get called up. We were all waiting very anxiously through all our classes until third period Spanish. The phone rang mid-lesson, and our Spanish teacher goes to get the phone. At this point, I knew damn well it was for me. My time had come. So then she tells me to go to the office, the Spanish teacher. So all my friends already know it's about to go down. They warrior salute me as I leave. That's exaggerating. So I take the slow walk down the halls to the office. I knew damn well my whole life was leading up to this moment. This was the climax, the defining moment. I was not ready. I walk into the office, and even the receptionist knows my fate. She tells me to go to Miss Anime's office, and I ask, where is it? This is my first time. I'm a good noodle. So I had to ask where. She directs me, and I begin the final stretch of my walk. Sorry, my throat itches. I go to her office, and she is dealing with some kid who was, like, screaming on the bus or something. It was weird. <laughs> and she tells me to wait outside on the bench. Now, I wait a couple minutes, and she comes out to talk to me. She asks, did you make the Dr. Diggity pictures? I knew I would gain nothing from lying, so I said yes. She asks, do, did you do it on, insert friend's name here's, computer? Again, the answer was, yes. Then she asked why I did it. I told her it was because me and my friends thought it was funny. She mumbled something like, of course, and told me to come to her office. I sit across from her with only her desk in between us. She asked me if I knew it was disrespectful, and I say yes. Now, I didn't want to say no, because then she might think I was some kind of, like, bully, or that I couldn't empathize, emphasize or some, empathize or something. Something hard to word should go there, but yes was a nicer option, I guess, even though I didn't really think it was disrespectful. She then asked me, to come around the desk onto her side and she asked what my mom's phone number was now my mom works so i don't and i don't know her cell number or at least didn't so um miss anime just looked it up because why i have to type a couple letters in so she tried to call my mom but my mom didn't pick up 
She later told me it was because it was an unknown number, which my mom didn't pick up. So after that failed, I sat back down and she wrote me a detention slip. I also write, had to write an apology letter to Dr. Diggity. So then she sent me back to my Spanish class and all my friends crowded around, of course, wanting to hear the details. I told them the details and that was that. When I got home, I told my mom and both my mom and dad thought it was dumb as hell. <laughs> it was three pictures that everyone thought were funny. Since my mom and dad thought it was BS, the next day, Wednesday, my mom wanted to go to the school in the morning because she thought it was unnecessary, like not worth a detention, and just thought it was generally dumb. So during first period, she went to talk to Miss Anime, and they ended up calling me up too for some reason. Um, I guess that makes a bit of sense. So without going much into detail, because there's not really much anything exciting that happened in there, just the outcome. So the outcome was that it would be a lunch detention instead of after school. So this was first period, obviously. Uh, I told all my friends after first period. So this was during first period, and then obviously I told all my friends. Sorry, I worded that wrong. Uh, then lunch came. I went to the office and waited for Dr. Diggity to come. After a couple of minutes, he came. He told me to come inside, and he said stuff about liking jokes as much as the next guy, and that he was perfectly fine with the pictures. Uh, I don't know if he act, if he said perfectly fine, but from what I was getting, he was implying that he thought it was perfectly fine. He just said that I should have told him, I guess. Uh, that's kind of confusing for me, but that's what I got from it. So then he told me to read my apology letter, which I did, then said that I could go back to class, which was actually pretty cool of him. So I went to lunch with all my friends that day, not even a lunch attention. It, it pretty much seemed like nobody really cared except for Miss Anime, that she was just making a big deal out of it. Now, Miss Anime did say something about bringing us, bringing us back in because our stories didn't match or some bullcrap, but that never happened. She never brought us back in. That was the end of it. So that's a complete story of how Miss Anime wasted a lot of me and my friends' class time over three pictures that everyone else thought were funny. So anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you like story time videos, then leave a like so that I know you guys like them. The last story time on my 8th grade tech teacher got 11 likes, which is a lot for my videos. Thank you guys for that. So I knew I had to make another. Uh, link to the link to the first story time in that description as well. Also, guys, please subscribe to be notified when my new videos come out, and I'll see you all later. Goodbye.